Hey guys, and welcome to Hari Gastro. So in today's video, we'll be discussing what is a uric acid blood test. So let's get started. So before we get into the specifics of the uric acid blood test itself, let's talk a little bit about what you can expect when your doctor orders this blood test for you. So uric acid blood test is a simple test that can be done at your closest laboratory or hospital. No special preparation is needed for a uric acid blood test, which means you don't have to fast, so you can eat and drink as usual before the test. During the test, a blood sample will be collected from you, which means a needle will be inserted into a vein, usually in your arm, to draw out some blood into a gold top or SST blood tube. This blood tube is then sent off to the laboratory, where it is analysed and resulted. So what is uric acid? Uric acid is a chemical compound that is a byproduct of the breakdown of purines, which are found in certain foods such as red meat, seafood and alcoholic beverages, especially beer. And it is also produced naturally by the body itself as well. So uric acid is normally dissolved in the blood, filtered out by the kidneys and excreted from the body through the urine. So what is a uric acid blood test? So a uric acid blood test measures the level of uric acid in the blood. It is most commonly ordered by doctors to help diagnose and monitor conditions related to abnormal uric acid levels in the body, like in cases of gout or kidney stones, or to assess how well the kidneys are functioning in terms of filtering waste products out of the body. So what are the normal ranges of uric acid in the blood? So the normal ranges of uric acid in men is 3.4 to 7 milligrams per deciliter of blood. And in women, the normal range is from 2.4 to 6 milligrams per deciliter of blood. So now that we know what the normal ranges of uric acid in the blood look like, let's take a closer look at some abnormally high levels and some abnormally low levels of uric acid in the blood. So abnormally high uric acid levels is a condition known as hyperuricemia and occurs when there is an excess of uric acid in the blood. This can happen if the body produces too much uric acid or if the kidneys are not effectively removing it. So here are some possible causes for hyperuricemia. So coming in at number one, we have dietary factors. So the first cause here is consuming foods that are high in purines, such as red meat, organ meats, and shelled fish. Also falling under this category is excessive alcohol consumption, particularly beer. And the last point making up the dietary factors is consuming lots of sugary drinks, such as foods that are high in fructose, like fruit juices. At number two, we have a wide array of medical conditions that can cause abnormally high uric acid levels. So here we have gout. So gout occurs when uric acid crystals accumulate in the joint spaces, causing painful inflammation. And these uric crystals usually form when the individual has high levels of uric acid in their blood. We can also have kidney disease. So in kidney disease, the kidneys will not be able to filter uric acid out of the body efficiently, leading to a buildup in the blood. We can also have diabetes and metabolic syndrome. So insulin resistance is also known to increase blood uric acid levels. We can also have obesity. So excess weight gain can also increase uric acid production and reduce kidney function, leading to high uric acid levels in the blood. And the last medical condition contributing to abnormally high uric acid levels is hypertension or high blood pressure. So high uric acid levels can be found here due to the decrease in renal blood flow that usually accompanies the hypertensive state. So continuing with causes for abnormally high uric acid levels, at number three we have the use of certain medications. 
So diuretics, which are known as water pills, which are used to treat high blood pressure or heart failure, can also raise the blood uric acid levels. We can also have chemotherapy, which causes high uric acid levels, as cancer treatments can increase the breakdown of cells. At number four, we have genetic causes. So some individuals may have a hereditary predisposition to high uric acid levels, especially when they have gene variations in the SLCA9 and ABCG2 genes. And at number five, we have other factors which include dehydration and lead exposure. So dehydration can concentrate the blood, leading to higher than usual uric acid levels showing up on the blood report. And in cases of lead exposure, chronic exposure to lead can impair kidney function, affecting the uric acid levels. And so moving on, let's talk a little bit about abnormally low uric acid levels in the blood report. So abnormally low uric acid levels is a condition known as hypouricemia, and it is less common than high uric acid levels, but can still indicate an underlying health issue in the body. So low uric acid levels usually occur when the body produces insufficient uric acid or when too much is being excreted by the kidneys. So the causes of abnormally low uric acid levels in the body include number one, kidney disease. So here we have two main causes, which are Fanconi syndrome and SIADH. So Fanconi syndrome is a rare kidney disorder that causes the kidneys to excrete too much uric acid. And in the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, this is a condition where the kidneys retain more water, diluting blood uric acid levels, causing decreased levels to show up on a blood report. At number two, we have liver disease. So the liver plays a crucial role in the breaking down of purines, and in conditions like liver disease or liver cirrhosis, the uric acid production can decrease. Continuing with causes for abnormally low uric acid levels, Coming in at number three, we have genetic conditions, which include xanthinuria. So this is a rare genetic disorder where the body lacks the enzyme xanthine oxidase, which is needed to produce uric acid, leading to extremely low levels in the blood. At number four, we have the use of certain medications. So certain drugs like allopurinol, which is used to treat high uric acid levels in the body, can lower levels significantly. We also have estrogen-based medications, which are included in hormonal therapies, which can sometimes reduce the uric acid levels in the body. And then we have some diuretics or drugs that is used in cancer treatment, such as uricosuric drugs, which can promote uric acid excretion, leading to lower levels in the blood report. Coming in at number five, we have a very low purine diet, which may result in reduced uric acid production. And finally, at number six, we have overhydration. So excessive fluid intake can dilute the uric acid in the blood, lowering the blood uric acid levels. And so the take home message. So as we have just seen, the uric acid blood test provides valuable insights into metabolic, renal and joint health, making it a critical part of diagnosing and managing several conditions. And that brings us to the end of this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone you think might find this video helpful. So if you want to encourage me to do even more, or to say thanks for all the free information you've received on my channel today, you can say thank you by buying me a coffee. So the link to buy me a coffee can be found in the description box below. Take care and have an awesome day further. Bye for now.